What's up, Bensven Squad? How's it hanging? So today I thought we'd explore the so-called chaotic duo, as in Grunt and Jack, by bringing them to Ilium, which is a major Asari trading hub. This is also where you recruit Thane and Samara, and I'll be exploring those missions too. But before that, as always, remember to click the bell button after subscribing so you know whenever I release a new video. I've got hundreds of videos by now, so if Mass Effect is the love of your life, then you should consider marrying my channel. Alright then, let's get into it. After you've landed, you can prompt Jack and Grunt to talk about their feelings on Ilium by going over to this vista. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. You're picking the fat and slow from the herd. Where's the fun in that? Depends on what you're after. Grunt really doesn't seem very impressed at all with Ilium, and if you go over to the Eternity Bar, you can prompt him to say this. Hated a reproduction. I can taste hate in the air, but there's no fighting. It's like, like they don't want to. Is that right? Because it seems stupid. Rules and words to hide how they hide. Fighting is simple. Kill the guy aiming at you. Here, there's no way to tell. Stupid. Yes, Grunt. Everything is very stupid. While talking to Serena, Grunt will just have a generic response on how to get into the Dantius Towers to get Thane. I'll find him. Not without some help. You don't just walk into the Dantius Towers, especially now. But you know a way in. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. When you find the wounded Salarian, Jack has the generic response this time. She sounds pretty disappointed though. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. He doesn't know where the assassin is. Take your time. As you rescue the Salarian hostages, Grunt seems to express disappointment that Thane doesn't murder in cold blood. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. Not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead. But he just closed the door and locked us in. This assassin lacks commitment. Yeah. Okay then, moving on, when you call on the elevator in the next room, just like any other squad mate, both Jack and Grunt says to take cover. However, Grunt just has the best delivery out of everyone. Just stand here and wait for them? I like a straight fight, but... We should get behind... stuff. Ebony, have a pleasant stay. You're killing me here, Grunt. When talking to the Eclipse Merc, Pushing him through the window prompts a line from Jack where she sounds very impressed by Shepard's ice-cold move. Where are you? You got two ways down, express or coach. Your choice. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right- <laughs> How about goodbye? Damn, I can take notes from you, Shepard. As you finally make it to the top of the towers, Jack, again, has a pretty generic line from when Thane drops down and kills Nasana. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Nice entrance. Moving on to Samara's loyalty mission, here both Jack and Grunt are a little more chatty. While talking to Detective Anaya, Grunt slinks in a line during the conversation about Samara. I need to recruit Samara for my mission, then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. Best kind. And after the conversation ends, Jack says her line. I have to go. Good luck. We should find Samara before the detective does. When you find Samara, a discussion starts between the detective and Samara, where Samara says that she will have to kill the detective if she tries to detain her for more than a day. Wherein Grunt gives his opinion. Check it out. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. 
I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. Asaria, stupid. Your code just means you kill her tomorrow instead of today. I am afraid so. As you proceed with the mission to find the ship name for Samara, you encounter Lenore, an Eclipse Merc. Jack takes precedence over Grunt here. Check it out. Wait, stop! I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. You're in an enemy uniform and I'm gonna kill you. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora, and you lost. Screw that, bitch! And as you move on to the next area, you find a log where it's revealed that Lenore was a cold-blooded murderer. And again, Jack responds to this. Well, it's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous Bolas. A close exploding rounds. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are going to be so jealous. Elnora was the killer. I knew I smelled murder on that bitch. Figure that detective would want this. Upon further exploration, you find evidence of Pitney 4 smuggling Minogen. This time, Grunt responds. This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows that Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minogen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of Red Sand. Not what the Asari wants, but it marks the Volus criminal. Valuable information to the Volus. We gotta keep moving. Now we've arrived at the point where you meet the star of the mission, Niftu Kal, the Biotic God. I am a Biotic God. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am Biotic's made flesh. You need help. You need help. You stand before the mightiest biotic ever. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Force trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. Don't think he's reported anything. When the chips are down, even your friends will screw you for an extra cred. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasea about like a rag doll. This idiot is no challenge to anyone. I will tear her apart. Depending on whether you tell Niftu to take a nap or to charge ahead, both Grunt and Jack has their own responses. Take a nap, you'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last step of my... But, great wind. Biotic god. I'm... I... What was I saying? I'm... Tired. You... 
may be right. Yes, I'm tired. I'll nap. Destroy the universe later. Useless. My biotics are unstoppable! Charge. An ill wind blows upon Wasea, captain of the Eclipse Sisters. After me! That was mean, but damn funny. After killing Wasea and picking up the data pad, Grunt has his own unique spin on an otherwise generic response. That the shit the crazy Asari wanted to find? Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? Let's give her the name and keep moving. And that's it for today's video. Now why don't you go ahead and check out the rest of my videos. And as always, have a great day, Unsun Squad. Mr. Alton, out.